Hello, I'm 697 and welcome to episode 1 of my new tutorial series called Minecraft Complete Modding Guide where I teach you how to set up the workspace for Minecraft modding as well as modding file types of so food, item, wall generation and more as well as testing the mod and then decompile, re recompile it sorry, which is what you call the process of turning it into files that you can use to install into Minecraft and in this episode I'll be telling you the files you need to download for setting up the workspace now I'm going to show you the files you need to download for the whole process of setting up the workspace to even work. So the first thing you need to download, but above all, is this thing called Java JDK. Now JDK stands for Java Development Kit, and as you can see by the name, it means for Java Development. So what you need to do is to go to this website. Um, it's a very long, well not very long, but it's a reasonably sized web address. So what you should do to find this is to go into Google and type in Java SE Downloads and it should come up with Java SE Downloads which should be the first link and when you click that it should come to this page. Now here you've got four buttons at the top and if you scroll down a bit you've got Java Platform Standard Edition just what you want and you want to find the most updated and at time of recording the updated is update set, no it's version 7 sorry, it's version 7 update 3 and here there's two downloads, there's JDK which is Java Development Kit which is what we want and there's JRE which is Java Runtime Environment and that's basically, so J JRE is like the software you need to run any Java programs like Minecraft so you would have already had that or you wouldn't be playing Minecraft and um, we want JDK which is um, the Java software that lets you make your own Java stuff in our case mods for Minecraft so you do is click download and it should open this page and what you want to do is scroll down to Java SE Development Kit we don't want demos and sample downloads, we want this one at the top first you've got to click accept license agreement I've done that and then here you want to download your version so if you're running Linux do this, if you want to run in Solaris but I'm using running Mac Windows so what I'll show you right now is only for Windows I'm not sure how it works for Linux, Mac or Solaris but this is what you do for Windows so bear that in mind Anyway, when you go to download it's 32 bit and 64 bit, you want to get whatever your computer version is. To check that, go to start, and where it says computer, right click and click properties. And as you can see here, it says system type, 64 bit operating system. So you want to, so now I know it's 64 bit, I will download a 64 bit. Now, when you download that and set it up, because I'm sure you know how to set up an installer, remember what bit you got. So if you got 64 bit, remember that for later, and I'll tell you why. Now that you've got the JDK all installed, we want to install the next part of the workspace which is MCP. So what you want to do is go into the internet browser and go to minecraftwiki.net slash wiki slash minecraft underscore coder underscore pack. Now as you can see at the top is not the official but I find it quite easy because of how all the downloads are there. So what you want to do is to scroll to the bottom and you can see it tells you about MCP and stuff. And at the bottom it says here downloads and history and you want to get the most updated so if you want if you've got Microform put in five like me at the time of recording you want to get the MTP for that specific Minecraft. So what you do is just click download there, but take a media file and you just download it. And you can extract the files so it comes to this folder, but we'll come through these files later. Now for making mods, you can make mods without mod loader, but mod loader as you probably know is the base mod that you install into Minecraft to make pretty much most mods work on Minecraft and all the tutorials I'll do in this series will be using mod loader so you need that to follow my tutorials. So you want to go to the internet and type into Google mod, mod loader or Rishwigami's mods and it comes up with this and it's a Minecraft forum link and you want to do is scroll down until you find mod loader and you can either down, download a ADFLY but you have to wait quite a time just to get to the link or you can just click download direct and that will instantly download it for you and then once you've done that you want to extract the files into a folder so you have all these class files and like I said before with MCP we'll come back to this later now this last download is an optional download so you don't need it but I'd say if you're very new to Java or you want to do these mods really easy I would say download this program called Eclipse now the Eclipse link is not this, this is mod loader I know but this is Eclipse, so what you do is you go onto the Eclipse website and click download and it comes to this page. Now Eclipse is this 
open source software that's used for development of Java and why I find it really easy because once you've uploaded all the Minecraft files and stuff to it which I'll tell you about later it sort of can correct stuff so if you want to put in an item and you put item which I'll tell you about later in another episode it'll, t it'll give you a list of all the items that you can use or all the code that's related to what you've typed in which is really easy for people who are not familiar with Java now when you go to downloads there's three you can download there's Eclipse IDE for Java E developers, Eclipse Classic and Eclipse IDE for Java developers. Now I use this one, the third one, because one, it's a smaller file size and two, I haven't tried the other ones but when I've used this I've had no problems with it whatsoever so I don't see a reason why I need to switch to any other ones. But you can download any one, but this is what I said before from the Java. Whichever version you download, whether it's 32 or 64 bit, you need to have the exact same for the Eclipse. So. I got 64 bit Java and I want to get this one, so I need to click the 64 bit download. And then once you download that, you want to extract the files and it leaves you with these files. Now that you've got all the files downloaded, click the link on the screen right now or in the description below to go to episode 2, which will tell you how to install all of these files so Java, DDK, MCP, Mod Loader, and Eclipse, and sort of set up the whole workspace so that you're ready for modding. Thanks for watching, like I said before, and please like this video and subscribe. And if this video gets enough views in a few days, then I'll upload the second episode. And I'll see you guys next time.